should make like a plush toy that's just like this. I want you to meet someone. Oh my gosh, you little model. Look at you. Hey guys, it's Cassia. I am way too excited about this video and I can already tell this is gonna be my favorite crochet project I've ever done. You can tell by the title, I got a puppy. Actually, as of right now of me filming this, I don't have her yet. She is currently six weeks old, so I get to pick her up in about two to three weeks. I wanted to start this project before I got her anyway, because when I get her, I don't know how much I'm going to be crocheting, to be honest. But you can tell by the title, I am going to be making a matching cardigan for me and my dog. I honestly think this is going to be the start of just many, many matching outfits for me and my dog. My idea for this actually, I wanted to make a cardigan inspired by this, so a purple cardigan with little daisies all over it to match her harness so she can wear her harness and her cardigan at the same time when it's cold out. We'll obviously show you every step of the way and talk to you about what I'm doing and I will also link down any tutorials or anything that I use to learn how to make this so you can try and make your own. As for the yarn we're using, I've got this bad boy. This, I've actually got two. Look at these. <laughs> a heart yarn, mega ball yarn. So this is a 400 gram ball of yarn. But I think this is going to be perfect. And obviously I have so much of it. So I think we'll probably only use one ball, but we'll see. Let's just get started. Alright, so let's get started on this cardigan. So I'm going to start on my human one. I'm going to be making this using my 5mm crochet hook. This is just a crochet hook I always use. I'm obsessed with it. Look how cute it is. I literally ordered a new one the other day and I'm so excited to show you guys. I should make like a plush toy that's just like this for crochet and yarn addicts. So nice. I was actually looking through my crochet project ideas playlist that I have just privated on my YouTube. And there was one in there by one of my favorite crochet YouTubers, Emma P. She just does some of the best and just easiest to follow crochet tutorials. She walks you through the whole thing and she just has the cutest cardigan on there that I really want to try and make. The style of it is actually quite similar to my Squid Game jacket I made a few months ago, but the method is a little bit different. So I'm really excited to try this method out. My measurements are actually quite similar to Emma P. So I'm literally just following the exact same measurements that she has in her video. I'm just going to get started now with the ribbing. To do this, we're basically creating a slip knot and then chaining 10. You're then just going to chain one more just as a turning stitch and then we're literally just going to do a half double crochet into each of these we're going to be making this one roughly 20 inches i think and i will come back to you once i'm done <laughs> going out in a little bit but I just wanted to show you the progress I've made so far. This here is the back panel all done. I made her a little bit bigger than what Emma's was in the video I'm following just because I want her to be a little bit chunkier and a little bit more oversized. You can see the ribbing at the bottom here. I do have one of the front panels all complete ribbing along the side here now i've never done this method of middle ribbing i guess the way that emma p does it in her video i've never done that before this is my first attempt and it worked out pretty well because usually what i would do is yeah kind of just make another piece like this but thinner and then sew it along the side if you watch emma's video on how she does this this will make a lot more sense to you but yeah i think it turned out pretty well. Now I'm working on the second front panel. Like done with the second front panel so here is the first one and we're gonna start doing the like side ribbing the middle ribbing I guess um, and I just thought I would talk you through how I'm doing that I also have these stitch markers here because on this side we're gonna be doing buttonholes because on the side we 
didn't have any buttonholes stitch markers where I want to make those and these are about three inches apart and there's four buttons so I'm gonna chain six and then one for turning so seven all together so we've just chained seven now we're just gonna do single crochets just along the chains that I just did so now we're at the bottom here kind of hard for you to see I know um, but now we're just gonna go into this length we're gonna go just into the first hole we can find and literally just slip stitch that and so then that bit gets connected to there start on the next row we just go into a, the next hole do another slip stitch now that we've got that first foundation chain done we are going to be doing single crochet into the back loop only for the rest of this so this is what we've just done now we're just literally going to be going into the back loops and doing a single crochet all the way up now that we're at the end i'm just going to chain one turn my work it's out of focus and then we're just gonna go back down the other way now that we're at the end here we're just going to I, I like to just see where it kind of lines up and then put my hook into that space just do a slip stitch and then I just find the next hole and do another slip stitch we're turning back round, and then we're gonna go up here now. So you literally just repeat that until you reach the very end. Hello, it's been a little while since I've talked to you, but I have an update. I finished all of my pieces. We're also onto the second ball of the big yarn. I have finished all of the pieces, so now it's just putting it, like sewing it all together. So I'm gonna estimate that this cardigan took about maybe 450 grams of yarn. I will show you what I've done. The back piece, two finished front pieces, one of them with four buttonholes. I did finish both sleeves um, and I've kind of completed one. So I attached the cuff and I kind of wanted it to crunch up so it could have like a more puffy, chunky effect. So that's what, it, this is what it currently looks like now. So anyway, I've literally just finished crocheting the second sleeve and this is like the easiest way I found to do cardigan sleeves is literally just crocheting a rectangle. I literally just kept going and just like did this and just measured my arm. I just wanted to show you how I'm going to be attaching this cuff to the sleeve. And we're also doing wrong sides together. So I'm going to be kind of placing it like that so that when we sew it together and flip it out, this is going to be the right side. Does that make sense? It meant we're doing right sides together. My brain has all fuzzy okay i've been sick <laughs> but basically i'm just using my crochet hook to just do single crochets along the whole thing and obviously because it's like the sleeve versus the cuff are like different lengths i'm going to skip maybe every second stitch on the actual sleeve part um to every stitch on this so that it gives you the bunched up effect um i'm literally just skipping every two or three like you just alternate between that um stitches and just doing a single crochet to connect it all together. Maybe a week since I started this cardigan, I really don't remember, um, but it's been so easy and quick to make up. Um, but the next and final step, I guess, is sewing all the pieces together. So that's what I'm gonna be doing today. I'm just really excited to make the dog version i think though instead of making a cardigan like mine i'm gonna make it a sweater just because i don't want there to be like buttons or anything that she can chew on also i just think a sweater is gonna look cute i want to still try and make the collar part so it still looks quite similar to my cardigan um and obviously it'll still have the daisies on there so it's gonna look quite similar i just wanted it to be more of a sweater there are not a lot of tutorials on how to make a dog cardigan on youtube mainly just dog sweaters so i feel like that's just 
the easiest thing to do. I've done about half the sleeve and you can already see the bunched up effect that's happening right now. I just think it looks so cute and so cozy. Anyway, I'm going to put all of these pieces together. I'm literally going to do the same method for all of these pieces and just crochet, like do single crochets along all of the seams. You can use a darning needle and do it, but I really hate sewing and I just like the method of crocheting it all together. our finished cardigan um, but before we do the grand reveal we obviously have to make the dog sweater so this is something I'm kind of winging I have made like a dog sweater vest before I'll link that video in the cards but I followed a tutorial I can't remember who from but that'll be linked down below so you can follow that one but I'm kind of adapting it but trying to explain this the best I can but like I said this is not a tutorial this is more of like a crochet with me just crocheted like a rectangle of 30 half double crochet stitches and I did about six rows of that my idea is that I'm gonna just bend this down and see there we go it looks like a little collar the kind of neck portion and now we're working on the body so for this method I'm literally yeah just working in the round now like I said I'm kind of winging this don't really know what's going on so I will update you when there's something to update you on to make my day conversations in my head got me conflicted with my brain isn't working right now. Um, anyway, this is where we're at now. So this is how we're looking. I put it on my hand like this so you can kind of see this is where her head will be. These will be her two little paws that come out here. So this is the side view of it. It's just like a nice little hand glove. <laughs> you could leave it here and it could be like a cute little puppy crop top, but I want it to kind of cover over her back and her bum a little bit. Oh my gosh, look at her. She's so cute. So I did about seven eight ish rows at the back here and then i just did a round of single crochets around the outside just to finish it off a little bit and i think it looks so so cute but we're not done i'm adding sleeves to this because i want it to look as much like my cardigan as possible i want you to meet someone oh <laughs> this is little miso my brand new puppy we've had her for just under a week now tomorrow will be one week um, she's just woken up from a nap, so she's a bit fidgety. Did I crochet a little sweater for you? Did I do that? But because of her, I obviously have not had time to crochet since I got her. Where are you going? Because I have to constantly watch her. I wanted to show you though, I have actually made some daisies. I think they're pretty cute. It's kind of like adapted from the flower coasters that I made a while ago. These ones here, this was a pattern by Hey Hey Crochet and I kind of just adapted it to make a tiny flower. It's the final step is making the daisies and then sewing them onto the cardigan. And then we have to try it on her. I'm so excited to see what she looks like in it. Um, I don't know how she's gonna do with having a full on sweater on her because right now she hates it when a collar is put on her but I have to make it happen so yeah that's the update on that I think I've fallen for you And I don't know why I don't know why You love the summer rain And mid-July Mid-July Oh my goodness me <laughs> Oh my gosh You look beautiful me so First of all I definitely think this is Too small for her I mean, I think it fits, but because she's so fluffy, it just, <laughs> she hates me right now. Oh my gosh. She looks so beautiful. <gasps> you little model. Look at you. <laughs> Are you trying to eat it? Miso. What do you think, Miso? This is the finished dog 
cardigan sweater. I don't know what you call it. Okay, I'll take this off you. I'm so sorry. The finished dog sweater, cardigan, whatever you want to call it. I actually had to make a bigger size from the original one that I showed you earlier in the video. Um, and I still think I need to make it bigger. It is adorable and obviously it matches perfectly with my cardigan right here. But here is a better look at my cardigan. They're just so cute. I didn't put any flowers on the back because I'm lazy, but I think this turned out super cute. I love the little color detail as well. But yeah, that is it for today's video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Sorry, this will not be the last video I do of me making matching clothes with my dog. I intend to make so many clothes for me and her. Follow me and me so on our social medias if you would like to keep up with us. Yeah, that is it for today's video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I will see you guys in my next one. Bye. Say bye, Misa. Say bye. <laughs> okay, goodbye.